when Ryan came in, it was really a catastrophic injury, really quite desperate. Uh, so much so that when I was first meeting with his dad, I thought it was for sure Ryan wasn't going to survive this. Ryan Jones's life changed forever when he got into a bad car accident driving in the snow in Fort St. John in 2016. The Smithers man was just 22 years old when he went into cardiac arrest and ended up at Vancouver General Hospital. It was here he received a relatively new treatment that ended up saving his brain, his heart, and his life. Well, I was in a coma for two and a half months, so I, my first wake up for me was two and a half months later after my accident. At the time, we were very worried about the significant injury to his brain because there was no blood flow. We discussed the uh, intervention of putting the brain bolt into Ryan. It hadn't been done before, and so with anything new and different, uh, you have some, um, you have a little bit of uh, hesitation. So this brain bolt is essentially drilled into a patient's skull. There's two little tubes here, one for pressure and one for oxygen. And it's hooked up to a monitoring device like this one so doctors can kind of zone in and find out exactly what the patient is lacking. So we can actually give medications to improve the blood flow to his brain and hopefully then improve his outcome. And what we learned from his case really opened our eyes and spurned off this entire research program. They say this case was the first of its kind in Canada and actually became the focal point of a study that's just been published in the medical journal Critical Care magazine. That's great news for Ryan's family who's been on an emotional roller coaster since the incident and has stood by his side while he had to complete several forms of rehab including relearning how to walk, talk and eat. It's been a real tough haul the last three years, but it's, it's great now. Uh, we really had no ability to truly monitor the brain itself, and so now we can actually change how we resuscitate the brain. I'm just hoping that more people will stay alive and get better in the future. In Vancouver, Andrea McPherson, City News.